So I do a couple of ha housekeeping before we, before we get started. And uh, the first and foremost is to say welcome to every single person here. Um, you've come from near and far, even uh, across water. And, um, and we've actually got representation from the healthcare community and from industry, which is fantastic that you know, we're all coming together to actually learn about something that's new and learn together on, and start this journey together, I suppose, would be the, the way I would phrase it. Um, so just in case people don't know who I am, I do see a lot of familiar faces, but uh, a lot of faces I don't recognize. My name is Grania Flynn, and I am one of the founding members of the Thrive Abetus community group. Thrive Abetus is the Thrive with Type 1 Diabetes group, made up solely of volunteers, and we organize a, a conference once every 18 months that's just slightly bigger than this one, but not much. Um, and our next event plug coming is the 19th of October in the Red Cow Inn, so check out thriveabetis.ie if you want to find out more. Um, so I'm thrilled that we had the... Uh, do I have to lean to the microphone? No, or? no. no, no. <laughs> so I'm, I'm absolutely thrilled that Thrive Abyss has had the opportunity to support this, uh, this event with the Open Project and with the Insight Centre for Data Analytics. Um, so first and foremost, I just want to remind you that anybody who can turn their phone on silent should do so, please, and uh, respect to the presenters. Now I know that there's a lot of people who have children at home and can't do so, um, and that's okay, we won't frown at you, but anybody who can, please put it on silent. The second point I want to let you know is that the, the event is being recorded with the hope that we'll make it available for people who couldn't be here today afterwards, so just be aware of that, uh, as well as when your phone rings, be aware that it's being recorded. Um, and uh, we have a light lunch that's scheduled to be served at 1.45, and you'll see that in your program. And that should be served downstairs in the foyer where the tea and coffee was. Um, we're scheduled to wrap up for the day at about 3.30. Sorry, Make that 12 for 12.45. Is that okay? <laughs> you said 1.45. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. 12.45. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, I actually have it written down as 1.45. My apologies. Um, so uh, we have some programs floating around uh, if you'd like to keep track of the proceedings. So grab one from um, where you signed your name badge. I would also like to thank Keith Garland and Kieran Mahoney for organizing the recording. Thank you very much, and uh, to Moss Mahoney for helping out in advance of the event as well. So thank you very much, guys. Um, so at this point, I would like to introduce you to the person actually responsible for all the work that went into uh, organizing today. Um, so this person is Shane O'Donnell. Shane, please stand up. So just to be clear, I didn't do anything to organize today. He did. So credit where credit's due. Yes, exactly. All blame goes to you. Um, so Shane and I connected a number of years ago, I think when you were uh, came across my radar as being the International Diabetes Federation Young Leaders in Diabetes Correct, Program. Yeah. They weren't wrong. Um, and a couple of months ago, he emailed me and said, I think I can get Dana Lewis here in Ireland in May, and I'd like to pick your brain to uh, make an event happen around that. And I was like, hell yeah. Yeah. Uh, you it was just a suggestion, twice. but then yeah. I didn't have a choice. <laughs> Um, so my part in today was solely to consult and advise, because I've done an event like this before, and um, but <clears throat> and just show up, but I didn't even have to do that. Also, so take a break. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much, Shane. And finally, we owe a huge thanks to UCD for providing the venue today, free of charge. We also uh, need to thank, excuse me. <clears throat> The Insight Centre for Data Analytics, Analytics. Correct. and that's where Shane works, and 
together with the Open Project, which you'll hear more about a little later, they have come together to financially um, cover the cost of this event, which made it available to us for free, which I hugely appreciate.